Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 4 of microcontroller and in this video we have the 5 questions from the previous paper which are the repeated ones and before starting please like and subscribe it helps make more videos like this if you have any questions you can uh, DM me on Instagram here without wasting without more time let's get started the first question is explain ARM processor exception and modes with a neat diagram okay so what is ARM processor exception and modes with a neat diagram you have to explain so following image shows the exception and modes okay so uh, apart from the normal execution what is executed during special times that is called as the uh, exception and modes okay so there are different types of exceptions fast interrupt request happens when uh, uh, interrupt needs to be handled very quickly okay if normal interrupt is there it will go to the IRQ mode if it is software interrupt and the reset operation it will go to SPC mode which will be protected mode for operating systems prefetch about and data about happens when virtual and the memory protection handling is uh, enabled and undefined instruction if it is encountered it will go to undefined mode software emulation for hardware co processor and each of these exception is binded to the specific modes okay so now the first uh, one is the fast interrupt request FIQ mode it handles high priority and time critical interrupts okay FIQ has more bank registers than IRQ okay IRQ will be uh, used for the normal uh, exceptions and this will be used for the special exceptions and FIQ enables faster interrupt service with less overhead The second one is the IRQ which is interrupt request okay normal interrupt request it is used for standard interrupt handling like the keyboard and the timer okay and it is used when a device wants a CPU's attention and it sends an interrupt signal okay the third one is software interrupt SWI and reset okay it is in the supervisor mode SVC and its purpose is to provide a privilege mode for OS level operations and the software use case is to invoke a system call for the user program to the kernel Prefetch about and data about is used for aborting means uh, ending. Okay, deals with memory access violations like access invalid memory. If you are trying to access a memory which is not present, at that time there will be a uh, exception and it will go to the abort mode. It helps in virtual memory and uh, normal memory protection. Undefined instruction handles instruction that the processor does not recognize. If you write an instruction which is not valid, it will go to the undefined mode. To support software emulation of features not present in hardware. Okay. Next question is explain ARM firmware suite features, explain firmware execution flow and Red Hat Red Boot. Okay. So ARM firmware suite uh, suite is nothing but ARM has developed a firmware package called as ARM firmware suite AFS designed purely for the ARM based embedded systems. Okay. For the embedded system which is ARM based for that a suite is designed which is ARM firmware suite. The package includes two major pieces of technology. Okay, so the suite which is designed, it has two major pieces of technology. One is hardware abstraction layer called as micro uh, HAL and debug monitor called as Angel. Okay, so the abstraction layer and a debug monitor together form the hardware uh, firmware suite. Okay, now micro HAL provides a low level device driver for the framework that allows it to operate over different communication devices okay so all the devices which are present in the system like the usb ethernet or serial all of them together it can be communicated using micro HAL. okay it also provides a standard api <coughs> okay for the communication it will provide the api the advantage of making the porting process relatively straightforward since you have a standard function framework to work with okay when a framework is present we can easily work with it and it supports these features system initialization at uh, starting point when we have to initialize the system it helps in that and old serial driver used for the basic method of communication with the host and led support is there timer support is there it allows periodic interrupt to be set up and interrupt controller is also there okay the second technology the debug monitor which is angel allows communication between host debugger and target platform okay this is the host and this is the platform target and in between them the communication happens via the debug monitor and it uses the software interrupt instructions to provide a set of APIs that allow a program to open, read and write to a hosting file system. Okay. And IRQ FIQ interrupts are used for communication purposes with the host debugger. The second part of the question was Red Hat Red Boot. So it is a permit tool developed by Red Hat. It is provided under an open source license with no royalties or upfront fees. Red Boot is designed to execute on different CPUs. For instance, ARM, MIPS, SH and so on. It provides both deeper capability through the GNU debugger as well as a bootloader so what are its capabilities to debug and to uh, bootload it okay so the red boot software uh, core is based on HAL which we discussed in the previous topic okay it supports the following features communication ROM management full operating system support okay and one example implementation of the red hat red boot is the sandstone okay. next 
explain IRQ and FIR exceptions also enable enabling and disabling of IRQ and FIQ uh, interrupts okay so this is not FIR it is FIQ okay So basically these interrupts are there right so we have to know what it is exceptions when irq or fiq interrupt happens the arm processor will continue executing the current instruction in the execution stage of the pipeline before the interrupt is handled once the current instruction what is executed that is completed after that the interrupt will be taken and when it starts handling the interrupt cpsr is stored in spsr okay cpsr will be stored in spsr of the new interrupt request mode okay if it is irq then it is irq if it is fiq if it is fiq okay so the diagram will be same only first it is not in the interrupt mode as you can see the i is small here and it will become capital means it is uh, in the interrupt mode and the spsr everything will be stored and r14 will be pointing to where the previous location was there and pc will be starting from where the interrupt is to be handled it will go to the software handler and it will do the execution okay and then it will return to the user mode once the interrupt is handled okay so r14 is assigned to the value of the pc when interrupt was raised whenever interrupt was raised where i was executing normally that place is stored by r14 okay and the below image shows for fiq inter uh, interrupt the same thing okay Enabling and disabling of IRK and FIQ exceptions. If you want to enable or disable, that option is available with us. We just have to uh, run this code. Okay, MRS, BIC, and MSR. Okay, so if suppose here I and F both are enabled. Okay, and here I and F are both are enabled. Now, in this case, if I have to uh, disable it, in this case, what I will be doing, uh, sorry, if I have to enable IRQ, so a capital means it is uh, disabled. Okay, so if I have to enable it, what I will do, I will run this uh, code here. So, what will happen? I will become small. So, IRQ is enabled like that uh, if I want to enable FIQ I'll run this code and F is becoming small that is enabled uh, FIQ okay so the first instruction MRS copies the content of CPSR into register R1 okay this will be copied into R1 and inside R1 the bit will be cleared which bit this bit will be cleared whichever I want to uh, re uh, make it active okay so after that the R1 will again be copied back to CPSR okay so in the same way the interrupt can be disabled also uh, here it is enabled here also it is enabled whichever i want to disable if i want to disable irq i'll make it as capital so here i am using orr okay so orr will do the uh, reverse operation of bic it will make it capital okay next explain exception priorities and link register offset exception priorities means if three exceptions occur together which exception is the one which you will choose exception one exception two or exception three we can decide randomly why because different exceptions will have different importance right exceptions can occur simultaneously so the processor needs to have a priority mechanism so the below table uh, gives the priority levels for the different type of exceptions okay for the different exception there will be different priorities based on this which interrupt is having the more priority will be given the consideration okay and what is link register offset whenever an exception occurs the link register is set to a special address based on the current pc so if this is the point i'm executing and from here the interrupt was raised i went to the interrupt but this point who will remember r14 will remember which is the link register okay so they also have the different uh, address register address uh, register based addresses an example of returning from irq or fiq okay if i want to return from the irq fiq i'll take into consideration the r14 which will be assigned to the pc and from the pc where it is uh, pointing to from there the execution uh, resumes okay next is assigning interrupts and interrupt latency what is interrupt interrupt causes an exception to be raised what is interrupt it's an exception which is uh, raised a system designer can decide which hardware peripheral can produce which interrupt request okay and the decision can be implemented in hardware or software or both interrupt controller controls the interrupt request multiple interrupt requests are coming interrupt controller will control it interrupt requests are assigned based on different requirements so based on the requirements different interrupt requests are assigned software interrupts are normally reserved to call privileged operating system routines interrupt request normally assigned for general purpose interrupts okay this is for the software this is for the general and fast is for the priority ones okay now what is interrupt latency the time duration between raising an interrupt i've raised an interrupt okay and the time is going and the first fetch of an instruction of a specific interrupt service routine and interrupt routine starts executing that time duration is called as the interrupt latency it depends on combination of software and hardware two ways to handle the interrupt latency nested uh, interrupt handler and prioritization okay so interrupt can be nested as well like this that's all for this video if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe it helps me make more videos like this and thank Thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one